Good morning everyone, it is freezing out here but it is so beautiful, we've been having this uh, foggy weather for the last few days and I'm just here trying to take advantage of it. Uh, I, I spent the last couple of days uh, doing some scouting and I, I took some uh, photos uh, or images with the digital camera but today I decided to grab the Bronica, I'm gonna revisit some of those compositions that I think uh, they are promising and have uh, some potential. This is the first of them. This is like an old, I don't know if it's abandoned because the lights are on, but this is like a gas tank that was uh, serving the town until not too long ago, I believe. And yeah, I think that uh, with this fog and those lights on, it looks pretty dramatic. And that's uh, the first composition that I'm gonna be capturing today, but there are so many more uh, coming, so let's do it. I'm gonna make an image of this railroad now, it looks pretty cool in the fog. This is one of the very few cases where you should not use a tripod, it can get very dangerous if the train comes and you have to move really quick with the tripod and everything. Uh, so I'm gonna be hand holding my Bronica, that's one of the reasons why I love shooting or pushing HP5. Uh, I'm shooting it at 1600, so it gives me that flexibility of uh, shooting the, the Bronica without a tripod. And yeah, I'm gonna be shooting at 1 500th of a second f4. Uh, f4 is not gonna give me uh, everything in focus and that's totally fine, that's what I'm after actually because I want to have some part of the railroad, the foreground, the very foreground, immediate foreground out of focus so it kind of draws you in more in the image. I kind of like uh, doing that in my images so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so this is my next composition shot. It's uh, we're still next to the railroad and this tower slash building. I guess it was doing something, servicing the railroad somehow a few years ago. Uh, I would say I would bet that it's totally abandoned now for the look of it. But I think it looks pretty cool in the fog. Actually, everything looks cool in the fog. And today is really, really foggy, like almost too much. That's what I'm using the orange filter, trying to get a little bit of extra contrast here. Uh, the settings are pretty much the same, 1 500th of a second, F4, now F4, 5. But uh, yeah, pretty much the same. I could be shooting hand, uh, hand holding the camera, but I, I like to use the tripod because it, it slows me down a little bit and it makes me think a little bit more about the composition. But, but yeah, gonna take this shot and hope it works out.
and that right there is my next composition that is like a tree with I don't think you can see it but there is like a little cabin or a structure there and it looks very cool again in the fog the good thing about the fog it is that it helps isolating subjects so this subject wouldn't work in a regular any other day or regular day because the background is very busy and there are a lot of trees and a lot of uh, noise that doesn't add anything to the composition because you just want to capture that tree and that cabin so the fog helps us uh, just making everything else disappear uh, now granted it's very foggy so it's almost making disappear that tree and that cabin as well uh, but I hope I can recover some of that darker uh, tones in, in post so that's what I'm gonna try to capture no tripod this time and I'm gonna have to do it quick because I left the car in the middle of the road uh, I haven't seen another car this morning just yet but you never know so I'm gonna take it really quick uh, hand holding the camera And that's it for this roll. I'm gonna load more HP5. I also have FP4, but uh, I like uh, being able to shoot at 1600 uh, because as I said, I can shoot without the tripod uh, for situations like this. So yeah, I'm gonna load more HP5 and keep pushing it to 1600. All right. So I would normally be uh, writing here the speed I shot it at and the date, but I'm gonna be developing this roll on the next one, hopefully today, so I'm not gonna forget. Also it's freezing and also, as I said, this is not the best spot to be at. Uh, this is the road, as you can see, it's not much of a road, but there are cars passing by every once in a while. So yeah, if that last shot that I just took of that tree and that cabin uh, worked out and I'm, I'm showing it to you, I just wanted to mention that I usually do that kind of composition trick when I have something kind of far away like a tree or a house or something and there's like a hill or a field. I like to, to leave a lot of negative space and that could be uh, either a lot of sky or, or, or uh, a lot of land. Uh, that leads to the to the object that I'm photographing. Uh, I think that it helps the composition or the overall balance of the photo and that negative space is, uh, I don't know, makes the, the image uh, feel more calm and serene and I kind of like that that stuff. That's why I you'll see many of my photos of uh, trees in the distance or any other kind of object actually uh, to have a lot of negative space in the on the bottom or the top depending on the on the subject and the situation got more hp5 loader here so let's keep going Not a very peaceful location but almost goes without saying but on any foggy day you gotta capture your power lines they are almost perfect subjects for days like like this because uh, they are like perfect lines that disappear in the in the infinity in the horizon and they look pretty cool very mysterious i've got a few of these uh, in my portfolio already but you can never have too many so that's what i'm trying to do here uh, i'm taking all the photos today with my normal lens i only have this one and the i'm taking all my shots with the normal lens today uh, i have this lens and the 150 millimeter that's the only two lenses that i have for the bronica i gotta admit that sometimes i miss the wider angle that the 50 was uh, giving me and i kind of regret selling that lens but yeah, I think I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need a new lens. So let's make this shot and yeah, move on. So the negative space in this case, in this image, is the, the sky, the fog, uh, the white emptiness and the, of course the power lines go through it and they create the, the interest in this, uh, this photo. I'm still capturing a little bit of the uh, ground of this field. Uh, to give some context because otherwise it would look like you are just pointing out to the power lines and uh, the distant trees that are completely not completely but 
kind of hidden by the fog. It, it creates a very mysterious and dramatic atmosphere in this image, I believe. I hope it turns out as, I, as I'm seeing it here. And yeah, the settings are the same, f4, 1 500th of a second, orange filter, focusing to infinity. Photography is pretty easy once you find something that you like. I really love this kind of weather, that's why I'm out here. I'm photographing and capturing it because I want to remember it and I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, but once you find the subject that interests you and something that you think is interesting, you just need to find the right conditions and the right light and just be there and make the images. So what I'm looking for is uh, layers. I think I talked about this in my video about how to compose in a square. I'm gonna leave the link uh, somewhere around there. Uh, but yeah, the idea here is that the fog creates layers uh, because the more distant objects are uh, brighter. Like for example, trees are uh, brighter than the ones that are closer to you. So in this case, uh, this is a scene that might work. I'm trying with the longer lens because we have a group of uh, nearby trees, another group of uh, farther away trees, and then another ones that are even farther away. So the fog creates those uh, different tones. The, the, the trees that are next to us or closer to us are darker and the other ones are brighter. And I'm hoping to create two or three layers here. I think uh, it has potential. I'm gonna be using the orange filter here too. The good thing about the two lenses that I have for the Bronica is that they both have the same filter thread, 67 millimeters. So I can share all the filters between them and that saves uh, a little bit of money. I think that higher would work better, but the problem with this tripod is uh, at the, this height, I cannot see through the viewfinder that well. So I have to lower this a little bit. I wish I had the other viewfinder too, but it's just, I wish I had the wide lens. I, I wish I had the other viewfinder. It's just more and more stuff that it's, you know, very heavy to bring everything in your backpack. I couldn't have asked for better conditions or a better day for photography. It's uh, already 11 in the morning and it's very foggy. I would say that even foggier than before. This is not normal. This is uh, not something that happens here very often. We get fog very often, but it clears up really quick in half an hour, or an hour after sunrise. But this time today is sticking here and I feel like it's gonna be this foggy for a few hours, if not the whole day. So yeah, this only happens a very few times a year, usually in the winter, so I feel very lucky and thankful that I, I was here and able to go out on one of those days. Um, yeah, it feels almost like cheating because it doesn't really matter what I point the camera at. It looks beautiful in this viewfinder. I have an amazing camera uh, to enjoy this morning, so I'm having a great time here. Uh, this is what photography is all about. And, yeah, I'm really enjoying myself here. And that was the last frame of this roll. I'm shooting almost uh, way too much. Uh, 
I have another roll here, but I think it's the last one. Then I will have to go back to the car. Where did I put it? Oh, here, there we go. So yeah, roll and a half so far today. I guess it's not too much, but. So the fog has cleared up quite a bit in the last half an hour. I just pretty much just said that it was really, really foggy and was not normal. And now it's uh, not gone, but it almost looks like a regular cloudy day. So I'm gonna keep driving because maybe the fog has moved to another part uh, just in case. But um, I think I'm done talking today. If I find another composition, I'll, I'll try to show it to you in the video, but uh, I'm not gonna be talking about it anymore today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I did enjoy this morning out here. Um, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.